uh, you know pesticides when they are applied on a crop or an animal or the environment they need time to work they have to you need to give them time to do what you you wanted them to do on that surface whether it is a crop or whether it's an animal or even on people because sometimes pesticides are used on people depending on what the problem is but the reality is that a pesticide always continues to break down. This is the reason why we reapply pesticides. Otherwise, we would put once and we wouldn't need to reapply. But like, it's just like other control measures that we have, the time that it takes is the time that the chemical is working. But then now it has to break down. Now, there are many ways in which a pesticide breaks down. A pesticide will be broken down by light. Just light, sunlight. Because sunlight, you know, is, is a powerful energy. So it breaks down. And we call that process photolysis. It's a chemical, pro it's a certain process, photo decomposition or photocomposition. It just breaks down. And uh, it can, a pesticide can be broken down by water. Just moisture. You put it out there, there is some moisture, the pesticide will break down because of the moisture. It can also be broken down by microorganisms. You know there are microorganisms in the environment. There are bacteria, there are viruses, uh, there are what we call uh, fungi, uh, what we call other like algae and others. Now all these organisms even depend, sometimes they get food from the pesticide. So the reason why the microorganism, for example, is breaking down a pesticide, which is on a, let's say it's on a, on a soil surface. It's looking for food. It will break down that organic component and get some food out of it. So they do that. The other way that pesticides will disappear or not be on the surface is because they can evaporate. They can evaporate. That, that is a process that is facilitated now by the air currents. You know, so if, and we call that fertilization, like um, the air currents will carry the pesticide away from the, from the, from the surface. So that is a normal, that is a normal process. Uh, pesticides are also metabolized by the plant. The plant itself will metabolize the pesticide. Like when you apply the pesticide, the, you know, the plant is a powerful mechanism with enzymes also. So those enzymes uh, uh, can also break down the chemical. So in other words, there are many ways that the chemical or the pesticide will be attacked. We can stay attacked by all these factors and then the levels will go down. So now the time that it takes for that pesticide to break down then, is dependent on a couple of factors, especially what we call physical and chemical properties. So there are some which can easily be broken down by water, others can be broken down by the air through what we call oxidation, it's a chemical reaction. So all sorts of things are happening there depending on the character of the chemical.